Hi, my name is Sean Bodley with IBM. I'm part of the Advanced Technical Skills Team located out of Dallas, Texas. And I'm about to perform a demonstration on how to apply a non-disruptive update into a running PowerHA version 7 cluster. Uh, but before I actually perform the demo, let me give an overview of the steps required. Now, this is a non-disruptive update. What we're actually doing is applying a service pack. This is not a full version upgrade. This is an update only. And I'm going to do this demo a little bit differently than how I've done uh, some of my other demos. In an effort to make this more time efficient, I'm actually going to jump over to my cluster and start performing part of the update and then come back and explain this in more detail. So what I have showing on the screen now are my two putty sessions of my two node cluster. Uh, node Jessica is the pink screen up top and Node Jordan is the green at the bottom. I'm still using uh, Alex's wonderful cluster status tool called QHA. You can do a search on that on the internet and find it and download it. You can see that my cluster is stable. All of my resources are currently on Node Jessica and Jordan is essentially the standby and this shows me that I'm running 7120. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop the cluster services on node Jordan first. It's actually a pretty common practice to upgrade the standby node uh, first instead of production. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that right now. And this is only going to take less than a minute for it to actually come down because it owns no resources, so there's really not much for it to do. So I already have the OK prompt. And if you look up top here, it's already finished the event processing and you can see that it still says stable but I'll show you one other thing where you can actually see from the cluster manager that the node is listed in the forced down state you can see right here in the forced down list there's some old terminology from the HACMP days called a force down. Uh, it's the same thing as an unmanaged of what we call the unmanaged now. Um, so I'm just showing here that you can see it in the force down state. So I'm going to go back and, and run my QHA while I'm getting ready to perform this update. So the cluster is stable. Jordan is now unmanaged. And all I'm going to do now is actually perform an update all. I already have the SP1 file sets saved in my user syst install images directory. So I'm going to tell it no to preview. I'm also going to tell it no to commit. Uh, generally, it's a good practice when loading fixes to apply them. Uh, make sure they work. It's easy to back them out later. Also, hopefully you've already done this in a test environment before you ever perform this operation in production. So while I have that kicked off, I'm actually going to go back to my presentation because this is going to take a couple of minutes to run and really show these steps in more detail. I, I already performed the stop cluster services using the unmanaged option. I'm now currently installing the latest service pack, in my case service pack 1. I'm using uh, version 7.1.2, so at the time of creating this demo, SP1 is the only one available. And once the update is complete, I'm simply going to restart the cluster, wait for it to stabilize again, and then I'm going to come back and repeat the same steps on the next node. And that's all there is to it. So the steps are very easy. The time invested is really just waiting for the install to finish. So while the install is still running, I'll give a quick overview of my environment. I did say I had PowerHA 712. When I get done, I'm going to have SP1 loaded. In this case, I'm not doing any AIX updates. It's PowerHA upgrade only. I have my typical you know, two-node hot standby cluster with a single service IP address, volume group, and a service IP address. So now let's go back over and see how my upgrade is running. I can see here that I'm, I'm only on file set number two. 
So I'll come back and check on this again. Oh, now we move to number three. Running at about a minute and a half right now. And it's still moving right along. So what I'll do here is I'll wait for this to finish. And then I'll have it rejoin the cluster, let the cluster stabilize, and I'll start the update on the production node. And while that update is running on the production node, I will come back and give a little bit more information in the presentation. So at this point, you can probably forward ahead a few seconds in time as we wait for the update to complete. Okay, we're on 10 out of 11. This should be done pretty quick. And you can see up top here that uh, we had a little bit of an event change. There's really, there really wasn't an event executed as much as some of the, the key daemons are, are being updated. And you can see it back into stinit on Jordan. If you catch it real quick, it says stinit. Uh, that usually is indicative of that cluster services are not running. Uh, in our case, we did the we did the unmanage first, um, perform the update. The update is now completed, so I'm going to go back and rejoin it into the cluster. I'm just going to leave the defaults on the sale start screen. And you're probably familiar with this, that even though you may get an OK prompt uh, pretty quickly, it doesn't mean that all the cluster services have started. So I will continue to monitor the start on the node that I'm starting, but then we can also watch the status on QHA uh, up above. And you can see that it does a verification on startup. It actually gave us a warning that said our file set levels don't match across the cluster. Well, of course they don't match because we've only updated one side. Okay, so we got the OK prompt. And as you can see up top, we're getting a uh, ST joining. The node is joining the cluster. So while it's still joining, I'm going to get ready to swap roles. I'm going to start running the cluster status on the other side so I can get ready to upgrade the primary node, Jessica. And the great thing about QHA is you can see those little event names. If you use the minus E option when you run the command, you can see the event show up. So now the cluster has restabilized. It's rejoined the cluster. Uh, nothing has happened to the resource group because we did everything on the standby node first. So now I'm going to repeat these steps on the primary node, Jessica. I'm going to tell it to do an unmanage which again is going to leave my resources alone. We'll monitor it down here on Node Jordan. And because it owns the resource group, you'll actually see here in QHA that it now 
registers the resource group is in the unmanaged state. So cluster is stable, it's unmanaged, I'm now ready to perform the same update. And again, I'm going to tell it not to commit. I'm just going to have it do an apply. And as we saw in the first node, this is going to take about two and a half minutes or so for this to run. So I'm going to go back to the presentation while that's running just for a second. I already gave an overview. Again, it's a, a typical two-node cluster. But I wanted to share some other information on some other demos that I have. Uh, here's a list of performing some upgrades, uh, some other similar demonstrations to this. The first one up here is performing a rolling migration to version 7. This is actually performing a rolling migration from version 6.1, and I believe it was to version 7.1.1, if I remember correctly. But the process is exactly the same, regardless if it's 7.1.1 or 7.1.2. The only difference are the AIX and the HA levels uh, that you install during that process. Uh, this one right here is actually a demonstration of upgrading Clusterware AIX. Um, was really an interesting demo to do and show, but if you start with 711 or above of PowerHA, you'll never need to go through this anymore. Um, starting with PowerHA 710, we used CAA version 1, and in 711, we used CAA version 2. So if you start with 711 or above, uh, you won't ever care about the CAA upgrade specifically. But I also have a couple enterprise edition demos here going across sites. Uh, one of them is using the sand volume controller. Uh, it was actually based on a customer proof of concept we performed. And then I have another one that's not very uh, detailed. It's not as pretty as the first one that's uh, using Hitachi TrueCopy. It was um, a demonstration put together while in the middle of working on a red book just to try to show something. The next demo is the 712 Enterprise Edition using XIV replication. It happens to be asynchronous replication, uh, but the idea and concept is exactly the same, whether it's synchronous or asynchronous. Uh, a couple other things is follow me on Twitter. I do put out some support flash announcements and some tips from time to time. I don't submit a lot out there, but feel free to follow me. And then I have most of these demos out on my YouTube channel under PowerHA Guy as well. So let me get back over to our putty sessions. I can still see um, we are on now 10 of 11 of the file sets being updated. And I uh, saw just for a second that the stinit had appeared. There we go. It's back again. And that's because this is being recycled. Um, the process daemons are being recycled while this update is being performed. Because usually if you just unmanage and manage back, you never go into this stinit state. Uh, we're only seeing that because we're performing an update. So again, the update has been completed. I'm simply going to restart that node into the cluster. And again, this is going to perform a verification before it joins. So it's going to take, again, probably close to two minutes uh, for it to fully join, with the majority of that time being spent on performing the verification. Another thing you can see here that I didn't point out before is that on the second node that we already performed the update, you can see that it is registering 7121 now instead of 7120. You will also be able to see that through the uh, cluster manager. While we're waiting for the first one to start, I'll show the same information through cluster manager ES. You can see local node version. 7121. So now let's go back to our cluster status using QHA. Still waiting for it to finish starting. 
And this, again, may be a good time to advance 30 seconds or so ahead. Because the only thing that's left is waiting for this to join the cluster and for the cluster to stabilize. And then our updates are complete. Now we're getting our verification messages at the top. Um, you may notice that we're not getting our warning anymore that our file set levels are no longer um, mismatched. So we get the OK. Come back over here, look at my cluster status. Tells me that it's joining. Still in the unmanaged state. So we'll wait for this to complete and stabilize. And even though we're seeing these events on the side, it's really not doing anything. It's just kind of going through the startup motions, but since the resource group is already online, there's no real action for it to take. So it's actually just going to skip through them. Now we can see that we're online, the cluster is stable, and we have completed applying an update to a running production PowerHA version 7.1.2 cluster. If you have any questions about this demo or any other demo I have, feel free to send me an email at sbodily at us.ibm.com. That email address is also on the first slide of this presentation. Also, if you have any suggestions on any demonstrations you'd like to see, if I have the capability to pull it off, I'm willing to give it a try. So feel free to send me a note. Um, thank you for watching.